So anything that I've decluttered that is in a project will not be in this video um, and any products that I finished up in projects won't be in these videos either until the one that I do at the end of the year. These are simply other products that I used up or decluttered over the month of February. Um, there's not a huge amount of them so let's just get into it. The first thing is the uh, Nature's Essence Frusion Color Lock Conditioner. I actually quite like these. These are from Audi's. They're good value and they seem to work quite well. I'm not using them on my hair at the moment, although my hair feels like really nice and soft. Uh, the color has been stripped quite a bit more than it is when I use this particular one. So, uh, yeah, I will probably buy this again in the future. I have from Revita Nail the nail polish remover. Looks like there's a little bit left in there, but can't get that out. I picked this up on sale somewhere where they were getting rid of Revita Nail stuff, and it probably wasn't that cheap. Um, I wouldn't purchase it again. Uh, it's fine as an acetone free nail polish remover, but I prefer the one that I uh, buy in bulk from my nail supplies store, um, which probably costs considerably less. So like this is 120 mils and it was, you know, probably more than $5 and I pay probably like $12 for a litre of the other stuff. So, uh, yeah, this I would not buy again. I have one of these little shaver -y do doodaddy things. Um, I buy these in like a three pack from uh, Daiso for like $2.80. Um, yeah, they, they, they do the job. Um, I tend to, I grow a lot of hair um, across my lip, on my chin and down my neck, uh, which might be illness related. Um, I also get quite a bit of peach fuzz on my cheeks. So um, if it's annoying me, then I just shave it all off. <laughs> and I just, um, you do have to be careful though, because I have cut myself with these. Um, they're pretty sharp. Uh, you just gotta make sure you get the angle right and yeah, don't get yourself with a corner of it because you'll cut yourself. Um, but yeah, I probably use these like three times and then get rid of them. So yeah. I finished a packet of the Lacura makeup rounds. I rebuy these ones over and over again from Audi's. They're relatively good value. They do the job. Um, they're cheaper than pretty much everywhere else that I buy them. So yeah, you probably always see these in one of my empties. If you can hear what sounds like music in the background, it's probably my daughter playing her ukulele. I finished up, although it doesn't really look like it, it looks like it's still got some in it. It does still have some in it, but the brush is too short to get it out, which is actually, like usually the end of the brush is just touching what is left and there's like half a centimeter of stuff in the bottom of it, which is really, really annoying. Um, and it was starting to get quite gluggy, but I don't love it enough to fight with it. This is the Essie, what do they call it, good to go? Yeah, good to go top coat. Um, this is just a mini of it. I wouldn't buy this again. I didn't like it that much. So, yeah, that's that one. And I am um, getting rid of two mascaras. Um, this customized mascara you will recognize from last year if you've been watching my panning videos. It was in one of my projects. And for some reason I put it back in my collection when I should have just ditched it. And I wore it the other day. Actually, I think I wore it like twice during February. And I thought, hmm, this has been open way longer than six months. And my eyes seemed to be like really watery and I wasn't 100% sure what it was. So this one went. It's still, you know, like wet and stuff but it's also I was noticing that it wasn't as effective as it had been it's one of those ones that you move the position of it and it changes the brush slightly um, 
it wasn't as effective as it had been um, previously. So I wasn't liking it as much. So that one's going. And the other one is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous. This is actually in brownish black. Um, the wand is kind of weird. Um, I actually literally pulled this out of my collection today and I realized it's actually... It just wasn't doing anything. Like two coats and it really didn't... All it did was make my lashes black and... You know, I want a little bit more than that. And I know this one has been open for a little while. I don't know how long it's been open for. It's probably far too long. So, uh, yeah, I thought, nah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna play around with it anymore. And I really didn't like it. And I've kind of come to the point with mascaras that if I don't like them, don't like the way they work, don't like the way they feel, or whatever, I'm just not gonna muck around with them. Uh, there are plenty of decent drugstore max mascaras out there that do a good job, so you might as well weed out the bad ones. So, that one's going too. So, that was my super short empties for February. I haven't done values on them. I probably won't do that until the end of the year, to be honest. Um, just because I'm lazy. <laughs> So that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empty videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.